speed limit change is in effect for part of Interstate 385 in Greenville. 7 News' Alessandra Young explains how drivers are feeling about it. If you're driving down this section of road here between mile markers 35 and 39.5, you might notice you can drive just a little bit faster. The Department of Transportation tells me this change was made last week, and drivers I spoke with have mixed feelings. Drivers can now drive 10 miles per hour faster along the new I-85-385 interchange in Greenville. Beating up equals dangerous. The Department of Transportation says they've increased the speed limit from 55 to 65. I just saw it uh, recognized a few days ago. And some drivers are on board. 55 is kind of ridiculous through here, so 65 makes sense. While others... People are driving crazy and ridiculous nowadays. It's really reckless. Driver Rihanna Reese uses the interchange at least twice a day. She says she's worried the increase will only make things worse for distracted drivers. You got phones, you got iPads, you got the, the wristwatches. The SCDOT says they've studied the stretch of road just south of the Woodruff Road interchange to North Pleasantburg Drive. They say the interstate now has 12-foot travel lanes. The paved shoulders are 10 feet or wider. The pavement is in good condition and rumble strips have been added for safety. And cars were traveling safely at 65 miles per hour. Some people behind the wheels still aren't sure. Honestly, I have mixed feelings about it. Uh, I know 85 is always clogged up. Uh, I'm always stuck there almost every single day. I'm experiencing traffic, but I don't know, not, not as much for 385. So uh, I don't know if it'll speed up or slow things down. There is something on which all the drivers I spoke with agree. Everyone speeds along this road. I think they're probably going 80. In my experience, everybody speeds at least 10 over. So then you speed it up more, people are going to, they're going to, oh, I'm, I got five more extra miles I can put on the 65 and I'm going already. And they all say they just want people to be safe at the end of the day. The Department of Transportation says they've met with the city of Greenville representatives to get the green light on the plan. In Greenville, Alessandra Young. 7 News.